This is a performance beverage. Yeah. It just gave me so much more energy than I had before. 11.30 a.m., let's go. When you drink this, time doesn't exist. What's up? Good to see you. This is my friend Chito. Chito, what's up, man? Russell. So we'll start with uh, some chopped broccoli. This is one of my favorite things, this chopped broccoli salad. Chopped broccoli is essentially like a raw cabbage salad with raw broccoli. Napa cabbage, red cabbage, if you want to slice them up into a bowl, quarter and then we'll slice thin. Hello, chaps. How are you? Oh, nice senor. Chito. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'm Chita. Oh, nice. Chito, Chita. <laughs> Christian nice. Chita. Hello. One of the most unbelievable winemakers on earth. One of my favorites. It's a pleasure to have you here. No pleasure. I'm so excited right now. I cannot hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Gorgeous, look at that. Not bad, right? Would you say chiffonade? Yep. Feeling those hands are pretty amazing. You like that? Oh yeah. This is a really good cutlery. Thank you to Hexclad, official cookware sponsor of the In Studio Show. If you want to make that kitchen legit and support our show, go to hexclad.com slash in studio. That is hexclad.com forward slash in studio for 10% off your next purchase. Broccoli, we'll just kind of take the tops off. Oh, there, perfect. Should we drink something? I'm on my way. <laughs> what are we starting with today, guys? Oh, my bro, come on. Here. How are you, bro? Pretty good. I feel you? great now. Russell, yeah. good to see you. The first wine we're gonna pour is the Himmel auf Erden Grand Cuvée. It's a white wine blend of Grüner, which is an Austrian variety, special in Burgenland, plus a bit of Sauvignon Blanc to give an extra spice. I like spicy. Raw cabbage, raw broccoli, and then we'll add shredded Parmesan cheese, toasted sunflower seeds, almonds, pistachios. Some bird food, which is beautiful. Crunchies. I love this stuff for shit. <laughs> I go into the bird feeder and I eat out of the bird feeder. And this is the dressing? Yeah, kind of a green goddess dressing, parsley, tarragon, chives, basil, blended together, olive oil, salt, pepper, and then we kind of, we add some mayo. Will it be vegetarian? Oh yeah. This, yeah, vegetarian. Unless action cuts his finger, then it's a meat dish. <laughs> then it's, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite thing, is like getting it all dressed up nice. Blending together, yeah. You, know, you want it to dress it lightly, right? You want it to adhere beautifully onto each individual nodule and not be crumbled up and clumped up, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> are you guys ready for a little Himmel of Erden? Please, are you kidding me? Go. It means heaven on earth. So if you drink this wine, you fly up. <sighs> right. Take me there, please. Like Cheers, Cheers, guys. Thank you guys Cheers. for being here. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Cheers to you. Oh my gosh, come wow. on. I see the spice. What are you doing? Crazy. No, it's what I said, no? Formerly known as Himmelhoff Erden number one. The next edition maybe is called Action Cuvée. We have to talk to my lawyer. <laughs> 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 so pleasing and joyous. If there is a heaven, I want to be drenched in this. This looks good. This is a sharing plate. And then we make a fine dining plate for Trevor. Very small. <laughs> yeah. We start off with a little almost bush. Yes, I really like to try the wines outside of my country because uh, they taste different everywhere. Every place gives the wine an extra flavor. For sure, the air yeah. interacts, the, air, yeah. the, the climate, mm -hmm. the situations, just the way that when you hold the glass and it magnifies and generates through the, through the vidrio. I didn't know that you were that philosophy. I didn't know either. <laughs> it's that, this is that heaven. This is a dancing wine because it has me moving my hips a lot, you know? The liveliness is generating through my body. Let's try it. Oh, let's do it. Love that shit. Nice. Bright, refreshing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. crunchy pistachios. Mm -hmm. That's healthy. What's the best? Beef tartare. So you don't want it to be fatty, right? You want it to be lean. A little fat's okay, but... A touch. Yeah, you want the lean because you want to taste the beef. No, you don't want choice. No. New York strip, cornichons, grated Parmesan cheese, Dijon mustard, crystal hot sauce. You guys ready for Himmelhoff Erden part two? Yeah. Look at that, the fuck color is that? That's like maraschino cherry juice color. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers that. One of my favorite things here. Yeah, beef tartare, mm. served with some brown bread crackers that we make down at the Spaniard. Dried apricots, almonds in the cracker. We cook them, slice them, toast them again. Then I had some truffle to put on top as well. Please do. It's really like an elegant lunch. This is truly gorgeous. 
think I should taste it, huh? If you feel like it. Yes. No pressure, no pressure. It's good mustard, good cornichon, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be back. By tomorrow you're cooking tomahawk. <laughs> that's all I eat pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking delicious. It sure is. I got to visit Christian about five years ago, and he has this wonderful press that really shines that minerality of the fruit. I mean, bro, now that there's a face to the name, it just makes me happier to know that you're a good man. And honestly, you've been drinking your wives for about, I don't know how, there's 10 years now, maybe, maybe nine years. Longer than I made wine. It's cool. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh man, I almost shit my pants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm stoned, I don't know years. Like I'm trying to remember. <laughs> you fuck with the me. first vintage was two, three. He's a better chronological uh, captivator. 2015, I think. There it is. I've been drunk for eight years. Yeah. <laughs> In the best of ways. I always try to show up with a cheetah mag. A magnum is a cool size, no? It is, perfect. Yeah. The relation between surface and cork. It's perfect in a magnum. In a magnum. Yeah. magnum is more of something that would have been used back in, the in ancient times. That's why they put, you know, they make the three liter Pepsi, the three <laughs> liter yeah. white rock orange. Uh, that could be the next thing for wine. Make a three <laughs> liter. Americans believe in large format. That's what yeah. I'm saying. The 64 ounce big gulp. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Some Long Island fluke, some sushi grade tuna. Now we talk. We got Himmelhof Erden number two, the Maisha. It's from three different muscats. It's from golden muscat, from yellow muscat, and from lemon muscat. I've never had this. Lemon muscat. Tastes like that kind of lemons that reminds you of Amalfi. Oh, coast. those you know, the big Amalfi. ones, yeah. yeah. the big ones. I love wine, but I also love fucking grape juice. During harvest, I'm tasting uh, 200, 300 berries a day. I'm so jealous of your antioxidant intake. <laughs> really? <laughs> It just looks very regal coming out of the bottle. It's a very beautiful presentation of your bottles, bro. The lemon. You smell the lemon? It smelled like a lemon tart. I mean, this is a pretty beautiful dish to go with this, huh? I've never had anything that tasted like this. The three varietals of Muska is unreal. Cheers, cheers. Trevor. Magnum. My guy. The Magnum Trevor. He's Magnum yeah. Trevor. Magnum, Magnum Trevor. <laughs> Magnum Trevor. <laughs> People won't say, we bottled this wine in Magnums, we yeah, bottled yeah, this yeah. wine in Trevor. <laughs> These are Trevors, yeah. It's a Trevor. <laughs> Should we? Uh, yes, we shall, please. Remulade on the bottom, just kind of a seasoned mayo with shallots, line caught Long Island fluke, Kaluga gold caviar, some really nice olive oil, big salt, and fresh cracked pepper. Sounds extravagant, I like that. Oh, ooh, touchdown. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Wow, that's fucking crazy. What a great day to be alive. Muscat, all the flavors of the grape is in the skins. And to get this out into the wine to drink it, really? you need to measure it. So that's how you actually capture all that bouquet is from the yes. skin. What does the vat smell like right after harvest when the ferment starts of the yeah. muscat? The whole cellar smells like this. <sighs> You must come one time. I just want to work the horse. The horse works you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good setup for you. <laughs> this is really something special. A sushi tuna, avocado, radish, fresno chili, cucumber, fried garlic, fried onions, black sesame. That's a very nice dish, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. Gorgeous. You can taste the sesame at the That's end. That's good. That's real good. It's crazy. Bronson, remember the non-tradition? Do I? We want to be progressive, and so this wine is non-tradition. I like that. Cheers. <laughs> I come from all kinds like of angles. It's from a vineyard where there is double plantings, two plants, side by side for a maximum of competition. This is leading to higher assets, thicker skins, later ripening, in total more energetic because they are competitive. So you can taste the land of where it's It's from. the land of where it comes from. Mountain juice. It's literally Mountain Dew. That look like cranberry nut bread? A little cranberry walnut. Uh, yeah. My eyes don't deceive me. First thing we've cooked is a sandwich. <laughs> what is that, fucking pear? Pear, kale, oh, garlic, God. mayo. What's on that sandwich? A roasted turkey that we brine in house. Sauteed Tuscan kale, I garlic, mayo. I love a turkey sandwich. Fresh pear and white cheddar. Nah, it's good. This is fucking lunch. This is like after Wayne's food. The fucking fruit on it, before a fight, I kill somebody if I eat this. <laughs> Capital One. Like they didn't fucking eyes. sponsor this. We can't talk about that. Capital Eins. There it is. Tastes elegant. It's juicy. 
Oh, dessert. Whoa. 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 This is my mom's cookie recipe. We cook them in a ring mold. Kind of like a deep dish cookie almost. Mama Russ. That's it. No, these are fucking crazy. I like a chocolate chip cookie with not that money chocolate chip. You want to taste the cookie, not yeah, the yeah, chocolate yeah, yeah, yeah. chip. <laughs> The cookie with this is really like my favorite thing I've ever tasted. I love this. I love this day. This is not every day you get to chill with legends of the game. I don't even know you yet. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hug me tight, Russ. <laughs> <laughs>